Hi ladies, it's Penny. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I won't be able to do a video tomorrow because I've got appointments. So I've been wanting to show you this little thing I've been doing. CD dollies. This is one I've copied from a lady off YouTube. She's not meant to have a brown thing on. And uh, she wasn't English. She was Japanese, Chinese or Korean even she might have been. But the tutorial is very easy to follow. So I've copied her on this one. Then I've tried to do some of my own design slides. So I'll show you basically how, how it's done. What do you need? You need a CD or a DVD. You need a piece of cardboard, um, seven centimetres or seven centimetres, two and three quarters, I think, um, diameter, and a piece of wadding, same size, a piece of flash coloured, whatever colour you want, um, for the face, a bit bigger. You want the piece of material to go around the CD. I've already done this because, as I say, this is take two. You know what I'm like. Can I do it in a one -er? So all I did was I made the fabric bigger than the CD, did a circle, did a running stitch, roughly, and then um, popped the CD in. Now I've put the dark side this way because it's going to be covered with the head. So... You know, you don't want to see the darkness if you've got a light material. So you need that. You need some trimmings to beautify your dolly. Uh, you need some ribbon of some kind to hang it with. No, wait, this, I was doing a face with this cot, this wool, and I couldn't do it. And you need some wool. You can have any colour you like. And um, but we're going for. Should we go for another blonde? Blonde and pink. Yeah, go on. Blonde and pink. Well, that, oops. There, that one's coming out. I'm trying to hide it from Mr. Pitt, the squatter cat, because you know what cats are like. Ooh, is that for me, Mum? No. So he wants a bit of cotton and needle. That's just to do that little bit of running stitch around there. This one you don't. I'm just going to stick it, which I'll do now. So you'll need a hot glue gun with a glue stick. That's what you'll need. So I'm not as I say, I'm not gonna run stitch around this, so I'm just gonna um start off at the back, start off at the front. Why I thought this was quite good is we've got um we take the grandchildren away at Halloween in the caravan and Chloe's still into doing some crafting, so Adam, not so much now, he's 16, but um, I thought Chloe might like this and maybe with a friend or something. And it's not too much stuff I can carry down to the uh, caravan. So I get told off I take too much craft stuff. So this isn't too bad. Just a bit of variations on the cloth. Limit myself on that. So that's all I've done, is go round and round and I'll put a little bit, oop, I was going to use my other glue gun but it goes so hot and it's horrible today and I can't see and the lighting's terrible as normal. <laughs> I don't mind the summer because I get good lighting in the south. Um, so that's that and you also need a piece of card which is 15 centimetres tall or 6 inches and this is to make your hair and before I had done one earlier but I haven't on this one so all we're going to do is wrap it round try and keep it out of the of the cat and oh, I'm just trying to do this about 60 I imagine it depends on the thickness of your wool, really. Um, uh, on my first video I was doing for you, I used this brown wool, and my hair was a bit thin, and I couldn't, um, I mustn't have uh, wound it round enough, so it didn't cover the head properly. So, we're still going. We're still going. 
colours. So you can use any any colour. Uh, I got some beautiful fabric. This is what I'm using some of it for. From my lovely friend Betsy Doodle. And a lovely surprise happy mail that was. I think that might do it. I think that might do it. That They can always chop a bit off can't they? So I'll chop that off now. Chop a bit off to tie it. I'm going to double tie it because wool is not that strong. Okay so we're just going to tie it a bit at the top there. It's not science so it's how you want to do it or how the wool wants to do it in this case. Right. That through. Ooh. Let me tie it again. I'm not sure what I've done there. Again. Right. That's about it. If I don't do this video, ladies, I'll be showing you just what I've done. <laughs> right. Well, that's not in the middle now, is it? For some reason. Right, that is. That's in the middle, that. And I'm going to tie it again. Because that was such a sloppy tie. So, I think maybe better to take it off the cardboard and then tie it maybe okay so we'll put it that way so now that's a hair so what we're going to do is let me put her over there we're going to bring it down and comb her hair out nicely with your fingers beautiful it's quite a lot here actually <laughs> and then that's the face and we're going to put that there because that's going to come up okay I'll show you like that that's going to come up into her bun yeah so it'll be like that so do that again make sure I've got some um, tie stuff going because I get leg locked I haven't got enough hands. I think I should have done with a peg or something to hold it. Right, I've still got enough glue on here. Oh, glue strands. And we're going to put quite a lot on here. I say I sometimes use the bigger glue gun, but with the lighting not being good, I just burn myself. So. It's better with this one, which is a, a lower temperature. I just need more of it. Okay. So we're going to put that in a plonket penny. You're going to place it there and press it hard. Make sure it sticks. Okay. Look at that. Looks like a shaggy sheep, Doug. So we're going to... Start bringing her hair up. Don't worry about these. I'll cut those off after. Bring her hair up like that. Yep. And pass some of it over just to give it a bit of style. Okay. Like that. So you can see she's got it like a French, a French bun. Where's my wool? Okay, I'll put her plonk her there. Okay. Oh I was listening to one of the ladies, I can't remember who it was now, the lady who lives in uh, Iowa. And she's got snow already up there in Iowa. And then in Australia they just start in their spring and summer. It's a funny world, isn't it? So we'll chop those off. I don't want those anymore. And so you've got that start. I'm going to just put a tiny bit of glue, just a little bit, under there. Make, leave enough room to draw her eyes. 
So just a tiny bit of glue, just to stop that hair wobbling about there, okay? So now I'm going to decide what I'm doing with her hair. I think I'll go with more or less what I've done with that one. You could have it all floppied up and she can have be like that if you wanted. If you wanted. You see? It's completely up to you how you do her hair. I'll show you some a couple of other ones I've done. Oh it's strong. Strong it's like a cotton wool that. Okay, it's a strong one. So she's got her little a fancy bun with a Mohican topping. Okay, like that. And we want some trimmings on her, round her head and round. So she's going to sit like that, yeah? And the first thing we do, we're going to put a ribbon. Now, I've got, I've got this one out. Oh, that's a bit thin, yes. I think I'll go with this. It's a bit wider than I normally use, but it's it's okay. It's okay. So glue them two together and then put a nice bit of glue there okay so that's going to hang up like that and they do hang up nice I'll show you after so that's going to go there but I think we'll dress her hair first um, that I picked out to go maybe on the bottom for her her dress. Uh, I did a pick for her hair. I did pick something, maybe a bow or something. Or how about this little? Yes, that would be nice. Look, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Eh? Yes, we'll have that pan. Okay. So again, a little bit of glue, just to pop it in there. I hope you can see, ladies. Uh, everyone's so busy with their cards for Christmas and things for uh, Christmas stores and what have you. It's very interesting watching everybody. Especially like, is it yesterday? Not yesterday. Day before, what was the day before? Tuesday, I was in bed all day. So it's nice to have, um, what they like, having friends on, they watching your friends on uh, YouTube doing different things. So we've got that. I've even found this little gem. I wondered whether she'd suit that. But it's a bit heavy. It's a little bit big. I might have to find another one sometime. Let's see what else we've got here in the pinky stuff. I thought I'd brought some more little pinky flowers down, but I can't see them, only those. Never mind. So, to carry on with the face, what we do with the... I usually do it with a pencil first, only because I'm not very confident. So, um, we're doing just round eyes. Let me... Oh, better check. I've got time. Oh yes, I'm alright. Uh, I'm just doing this a very simple design. Two little round eyes that are not even level, but we'll bring that one down a bit. Okay, take that one up a bit. <laughs> and then I'm just doing a funny little nose like that. <coughs> and then Colour it in. Like that. A little bit thinner. For that. I'm going to give it some little lashes. Up there. Um, a little bit of a eyebrow 
Okay, you're not quite finished yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add white to her and what have you. So, and before I forget, a little bit of uh, cheek, a little bit. I've had the, I got this from a lady at a uh, how long ago and of course one of the first things I did was drop it, didn't I? So it's been precarious to use it ever since but it comes in handy. So all I'm doing is dabbing this where her cheeks would be. Just to give a bit of colour, you can use proper blusher or something like that, which would be fine. And I have to put the band on because <gasps> it'll go everywhere. So, that's that bit. Now for the white, I've got a white gel pen. Here's a gel pen, in it? Uniball. So... I'll give her two white dots because I think it always looks better than one white dot. And then just just some little freckles. Okay. I will go over these again. It's because the, the black's not quite dry yet. So as it dries, I can I can go back over it. You could also use this if you're very careful. Just squeeze a little bit out, something like a 3D enamel effect, something like that. So that's that. I would like a little flower on there, um, but I've not got one. So we'll carry on down here. And I found these little um, flower diamantes. Must be off something else I was doing, there was just two lying around upstairs so that was lucky because they just fit there so I'm just going to pop those on could put the face on first um, and that way Pen, you'd get it in the middle wouldn't you? hold on, let's see yep, yeah, that's coming alright now we've got to do a lot of glue I don't know if I've got another glue stick have I? Well, yes, we have. Thank goodness for that. So, on the back, as you imagine, it's going to be quite a lot of um, glue. This is another one where I'd normally use the bigger glue stick. Uh, I've had bought me some long ones for this machine, but they've all gone now. Right. So, a nice lot of glue. Try and place her in the middle. Like so. Give her a little press down. Okay. And you get the idea. Um, so that's... <laughs> that's my CD dolly. And, uh, oops. I've just banged the thing now. I'm going to come back on. Because I want to show you the um, the other ones I've done and there's no time left now. So thank you for watching ladies. I'll see you in a minute.